Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the lifestyle video. It is a Wednesday and it is about 8.45 in the morning. Um, we've already done our typical summer morning routine, um, had breakfast and we're all dressed and ready for the day, but I thought I would take you guys throughout the day with us and we are going to be doing some stuff around the house, playing outside. We do have a grocery pickup this morning, so I'm going to share a grocery haul with you. So um, we're going to start the video off with something kind of random. Um, we're going to make some hummingbird food. So let's go to the kitchen and get that started. Um, Grant is in the living room. He's watching Daniel Tiger. But anyways. <laughs> So yeah, we just had breakfast and we've gotten dressed and everything and we're gonna make some hummingbird food. Um, I brought my feeder in last night and got it washed. Let's set you guys up here. Okay, so all you need to make hummingbird food is just some water and sugar. Um, I've been doing this for two or three years now. It's very easy. And I usually have to look it up though every time because I forget how what the ratio is. But I just Google hummingbird food and then the first thing that comes up here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says to mix one part sugar with four parts of water. So to fill up my feeder, that's usually two cups of water and a half a cup of sugar. So I'm just pouring this into a small pot on the stove and you don't, I mean, you can put it on whatever temperature. Basically, you're just going to heat it up enough to dissolve the sugar. And I just use regular granulated sugar. Nothing fancy. I'll tell I need to organize my drawers. So I have a cup of sugar. Should have bought some sugar. just have this going and I have mine on medium high heat and you just want to keep stirring it until all the sugar dissolves and then I'm gonna let it cool for a little while before I put it in my feeder I'll show you guys my feeder um, so my feeder is this red glass bottle here if you have um, hummingbirds are attracted to red so um, if you buy like the pre-made food, sometimes it's already colored red and that's helpful if your feeder is not already red, like if it's clear glass, but since mine is red, I don't have to put any food coloring in this. So yeah, we're getting the day started off with some hummingbird food. Okay, so while that hummingbird food is cooling, I still need to make our bed um, but before I do that, I need to dust our room. So, um, yeah, we have this super dark furniture in here, which we bought, uh, like right as soon as we got married. Um, so it's not really my style anymore, but I, anyways, it's so dusty. Look at that. Lovely. Hey, you want me to brush your teeth? Anyways, so I'm going to do a quick dust in here and then make the bed.
Okay, um, so I've gotten a few things done around the house and I think we're gonna head outside to play. It is 9.40 in the morning. We have our grocery pickup from 10.30 to 11. So we'll be able to play outside for about an hour. Um, it is 9.40 in the morning, it's July 6th and it's already 79 degrees outside, feels like 84. So, um, this summer it's been so hot so early. Um, so we've been going outside pretty early in the mornings. And then sometimes we do go outside again in the afternoons after his nap, but it is pretty miserable. We usually stay in the shade. So, Grant, do you want to go outside? No. Yeah? Do you want to put on your shoes? No. Come on, let's get on our shoes. Yeah, well, we can go in the car later. We're gonna okay. put on our play shoes right now because the grass is still wet. Yeah. Car seat. Yeah, we'll get in the car seat. Oh, oh yeah, in about an hour. And we're gonna go get our groceries today. Do you wanna get groceries? Okay. Yeah. Okay guys, we just got back home with the groceries. We stayed outside for about 45 minutes playing and it is just miserable today. It's so humid and hot. They're calling for some storms this afternoon and I'm so glad we we are so behind on rain this year, so I hope it rains. Anyways, I'm gonna share with you the grocery haul and I'm gonna get these put away and it'll be lunchtime for me and Grant. So I actually did a a quick meal plan last night. So I'm gonna make nachos one night for supper, a quiche, I'd like to make some chicken salad sandwiches, homemade pizza, veggie night, that's where we have like baked potato, mac and cheese, and a vegetable or some variation on that, something easy. And then my husband wanted to grill some shrimp and fried rice out on his um, blackstone griddle. So that's our meal plan um, and let me show you guys what all we got from the grocery store. So I got these um, croissants. These are mini croissants. These are for the chicken salad sandwiches. I've got a tomato. Um, let's see. Yeah, if you are from Tennessee, <laughs> these are Granger County tomatoes. Um, and if you know, you know. They're like the best ever. Um, an onion, we have celery, an avocado, a head of broccoli, 
My husband wants to meal prep some lunches for work this week. Um, I love getting these salad kits for lunches and I'll either put some chicken on top or just have it with cottage cheese or something. They're so good. They usually make about two salads for me. I got some strawberries. Um, Grant loves strawberries. I have some cilantro here for the nachos. Did I already say celery? Celery, um, a green bell pepper. And then we have ground beef for the nachos. Um, my husband wanted chicken for his meal prep. Um, I got some shrimp. And then we have some sausage for like weekend breakfasts. Picked up, picked up a couple different types of shredded cheese, um, cheddar and Monterey Jack. We have a pizza crust for homemade pizza. Heavy cream, this is for the quiche. And then I, I really wanna make some homemade ice cream, so maybe we can use the rest of that. I got Grant some whole milk, that's what he drinks for now. I got a dozen eggs and then I picked up these ranch seasoning packets there are four in here these are great to just have on hand and this I looked up a recipe for a copy, copycat chicken salad chick chicken salad the Olivia's Old South that's my favorite it has like pickles and hard-boiled eggs in it so I'm gonna try to make that and the lady used this in it so we'll see how that goes some instant oatmeal packets grant loves these for breakfast and so do i we like the the spicier ones maple brown sugar apple cinnamon and cinnamon spice a big bag of tortilla chips and i wanted some snacks i got some of these spicy barbecue pringles they're so good and sour cream and onion pringles those are my favorite i've also been eating a lot of trail mix in the afternoons for a quick snack and grant actually likes it too so got another big bag of that I got some buffalo sauce. I'm gonna make that chicken salad and then I think for Daniel's I'm gonna add buffalo sauce because he likes the spicy kind. I got some pizza sauce. Um, pinto beans, those are for the nacho recipe. It's the Pioneer Woman's um, dinner nachos. They're so, so good. Um, black olives, also for nachos and pizza. Um, this microwavable rice is for my husband's lunches. And then I got one packet of chicken ramen because Grant loves eating chicken noodle soup for lunch. And I just wonder if he might like this too. So we're going to try that. So that's all the food we got. This will last us roughly a week. Um, I'm not sure how it costs. It was probably around $100 if not a little over. Of course, like everyone else, our groceries have gone up at least $20 a week lately. Uh, just from inflation but um, we shop at Kroger I love it there I'm able to get everything that we need and the Kroger brands like we use the Kroger brand stuff a lot like the trail mix and the pizza sauce and the canned goods chips you know dairy it's all very good quality stuff so we really like shopping at Kroger but um, so yeah I'm gonna get these put away and then we are gonna have some lunch in a little bit sitting here in the guest bedroom this is where my desk is where I work um, so it is um, 102 and I just got Grant put down for his nap and did kind of our midday cleanup just put his toys away um, I don't know why I just like to have a clean slate at nap time um, but I do have a deadline for work today so I do have to get my two hours of work done during his nap which should be about two hours so that's what I'm going to be doing and um, while I'm working I usually like to enjoy a little bit of a treat maybe a decaf coffee or a cup of tea or some kind of fun drink to have. Today I'm going to sip on some of this kombucha. It is from Kroger and it is lemon ginger it's really good so i'm gonna enjoy some of that and just get my work done and maybe i will catch up with you guys this afternoon when this is all done okay guys it's about 3 15 now grant is still asleep i usually um, don't let him sleep much past 3 30 so that's when i'll get him up um, just because we don't want to cut into his nighttime sleep but I'm all finished with work. I think for the next 15 minutes, I'm just gonna take a snack and sit out on the front porch 
and enjoy some quiet time. I have some cooked breakfast sausage thawing in the sink right now and once Grant is up and settled I'm gonna go ahead and whip together the quiche and get that in the oven that way whenever my husband gets home and we're ready to eat we can just eat it just it may need to be warmed up slightly but um, that'll be a really easy dinner we'll just have that maybe some fruit on the side and I think that's gonna be what's coming up so I'll check in with you guys soon Okay guys, we are gonna get a head start on dinner. It is a little bit after four and this will just make the evening go easier. If I can go ahead and start it now, then I don't have to do it after my husband gets home and the quiche actually has to bake for close to an hour. So we're gonna get a head start. Um, I'm just gonna be using a leftover frozen pie crust that I had and then I'm gonna saute up some onion and pepper and then I have the pre-cooked sausage I'm gonna add into it as well. Are you gonna help me? I am. Oh, he's wanting me to play. Just a minute, we can play. All right, so we're gonna get a head start on this. Thank you. 
Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day um, on this vlog. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with us today. And um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. You guys, I can't believe I'm getting close to 400 subscribers. Like what? Uh, like my next goal is 500, but then, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so excited about this channel and I'm glad that you guys are liking it. Ollie is getting some pets. But anyways, I am so glad that you guys spend the day with us today and I just love sharing these day in life day in the life videos, but I'm going to be back next week I think with some deep cleaning and also some putting out some neutral farmhouse decor after I take all my patriotic stuff down. So stay tuned for those videos coming up soon and I will check in with you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.